In a recent uh, Gresty Academy YouTube video, we discussed first order homogeneous differential equations of this form here, dy dx equals f of y over x. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a uh, differential equation where it's almost homogeneous. Um, this one is not quite homogeneous because we've got this 2 here. And so now what we do to this at the moment, we cannot get it in the form of f of y over x. But with a substitution, we will be able to. So let's just have a look at this question. Anybody who wishes to uh, have a go at it, pause the video now. OK, so um, this is from the JE main July 2022 shift 2. We have the differential equation. We're told that it passes through these two points. And then we have four equations, one of which is correct. Um, so clearly what we're going to do is we're going to have to solve the differential equation, find the initial uh, condition here, which gives us the um, constant of integration, and then input this, which will give us the solution. OK, so let's go. Now, the first thing we want to do uh, is we want to do the substitution x equals x minus 1 and y equals y minus 1 into here. And that will give us dy dx equals, well, x add y minus 2 is the same as x minus 1 add y minus 1, which is big X add big Y over x minus y is the same as x minus 1 minus y minus 1, which is x minus y. And we can then divide by big X, which gives us dy dx, and then dividing top and bottom gives us 1 add big Y over x divided by 1 minus big Y over big X, which is in the correct form. And so now we can begin to motor. Right, so what we do, as we discussed in the previous Gressy Academy YouTube video, we use the substitution V equals big Y over X, i.e. Y, uh, sorry, big Y, Y equals V X. And from that, again, we discussed this in the previous uh, Gressy Academy video, dy dx equals V add X dv dx. And if that doesn't mean anything, please go and watch the video, which is linked to in the description to this uh, video. Now what we do is we take this and we take uh, this and we plug it in to here, which gives us V plus x dv dx, uh, v plus x dv dx equals 1 plus v over 1 minus v. All I'm doing there is just plugging this and this into this. Now this one here, we can now separate the variables and solve. So we have x dv dx equals 1 add v over 1 minus v minus v, which equals 1 add v minus v add v squared over 1 minus v, which equals 1 add v squared over 1 minus v. OK, so now what we have is we have this differential equation here. So we can go, um, oh, sorry, not that one, this one. We have this one here. So therefore, all we need to do now is separate the variables. So we have 1 minus v over 1 plus v squared dv equals uh, dx over x. Now, and then we can integrate both sides. Now, looking at this and looking at the four solutions, all of them have tan to the minus 1, which is a very big clue that we're going to have to use an integration which comes to tan to the minus 1. And indeed, we do. So we need to split this one into the integral of 1 over 1 add v squared dv minus the integral of v over 1 add v squared dv equals the integral of dx over x. Now, this one we'll deal with in a second. This one, clearly that is going to be the differential of that. So we just need to put a 2 there and a half there. This one here, 1 over 1 add v squared, the integral, well, it is tan to the minus 1. And they have given us this clue. So, uh, you know, if you didn't know that, you could probably have guessed it. So that is tan to the minus 1 of v um, minus a half log 1 add v squared. That's just basically the integral of that one. Equals log of x add a constant of integration. Right, now we are going to use um, the initial conditions here, the point 2, 1. Now, we don't actually need to change this equation back to big x or, or little x or whatever. What we can do is we can try and draw ourselves a, a little table here. So we'll draw ourselves a table here. So here's the initial conditions. Um, we had uh, x, y, b, 
big X, big Y, and V. So the initial conditions, what were they, sorry? Uh, 2, 1, so it passed through point 2, 1. So X was 2, Y was 1. Well, big X is little x minus 1, so that's 1. Big Y is little y minus 1, so that's 0. And V, which is Y over X, would therefore be 0. That's our initial condition, and we'll do the point 2 uh, in a minute. So our initial condition is using these, so we can plug these straight into there, which gives us tan to the minus 1 of v, which is 0, tan to the minus 1 of 0, minus a half log 1 add 0 squared equals log of big X, which is 1, add c, well tan to the minus 1 of 0 is 0, uh, here is log 1, which is 0, log 1 is 0, c is 0, so i.e. c equals 0. So we have tan to the minus 1 of v minus a half log 1 add v squared equals log of x. Now we're almost there. Again, we don't need to substitute back the v's or the big x or anything like that. Let's have a look at point 2, which is the one which we are now close to the answer. k plus 1, 2. So basically we know that x is going to be k plus 1 and we know that y is going to be 2. Well, if x is k plus 1, then big x, which is x minus 1, is going to be k. Big y is y minus 1, which is going to be 1. And v, which is y over x, is going to be 1 over k. So all we need to do now is substitute these values into there, and we basically have our solution. So tan to the minus 1 of v, which is 1 over k, minus a half log 1 add, well v squared is 1 over k squared, equals log of, well x is big k, k. And all we need to do now is get this into the form of one of the uh, answers, and all of the answers here uh, I've got 2 in front of the tan, so let's multiply everything by 2. So that'll be 2 minus that and 2 that. So basically here we have 2 tan to the minus 1 of 1 over k equals 2 log k add log of 1 add 1 over k squared, i.e. 2 tan to the minus 1 of 1 over k, tan to the minus 1 of 1 over k, equals log of k squared add log of 1 add 1 over k squared, which equals log of k squared times 1 plus 1 over k squared, which is k squared plus 1. And there we have 2 tan to the minus 1 and 1 over k equals log of k squared plus 1. And hopefully that is one of the options. There, A. 2 tan to the minus 1, 1 over k is log, log to the base E is the same thing as log ln of k squared plus 1. That is what I got, wasn't it? Log of k squared plus 1, yeah. And so we know the answer is A. Right now, for anybody um, still watching this, I've got a little bit of a treat for you because in actual fact, uh, let's just draw this in a different pen. Um, somebody not knowing anything about maths at all could probably have guessed that A is the right answer. So let's just have a quick look. A, we've got four options for what the right answer is, right? Let's imagine you know nothing about maths whatsoever. Three of those options have a 2 in front of the tan. So you'll be pretty confident that, that there should be a 2. So that gets rid of that one. Um, now let's have a look. Three of these options here are 1 over k, and one of them is 1 over k plus 1. So you can pretty much get rid of that one, which only leaves us with A or D. Now, the only one... This is k squared plus 1, this is k squared plus 1, this is, well, k squared plus something, but the, all of those three do not have a denominator, and this one does. And so, therefore, you can probably get rid of that one. So, basically, even knowing nothing about maths whatsoever, I'm not saying I recommend this at all, it's just a little bit of a bit of fun and a bit of a treat, I would have guessed that one um, as being the right answer just from this, um, basically, elimination of the others by looking at the four answers, even not knowing anything about maths. Um, you never know, that might just be the mark that, uh, that gets you into, uh, in, into whatever university you want to go to. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video if you did, and uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel.